Hi guys, Katie here from the Homespun Hydrangea. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another one of my videos. If you have not subscribed yet, now would be an amazing time to do so. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers this week. I really appreciate you guys. I see each and every one of you and I am so grateful for you guys stopping by. So we're going to get started on today's video, which is going to be another one of my um, vintage Christmas uh, holiday inspired thrift store hauls. This is my third one for the season. I would like to think that it's going to be my last, but I can't make any promises. As long as they are putting the good stuff out, I'm just going to go grab it and bring it home with me. So maybe it'll be my last, maybe it won't. We still have a few weeks until Christmas. Who knows what I could find. But for now, let's start looking at the treasures. I'll show you guys what I found, tell you what I paid for it, and tell you what I'm going to do with it. So it is Nutcracker season in our house. My daughter is getting ready to dance her, I think, fifth season of Nutcracker. I'm also a former Nutcracker dancer, as, my, as is my older daughter. So this is a really exciting time of year for us. So as you can imagine, finding this Sugar Plum Fairy Nutcracker at our local Goodwill was really exciting. So this lovely little lady is brand new. And as you can see, she is a working nutcracker. She did have her original tag on her, although I can't see the price. It looks like it was probably Hobby Lobby. But she is in lovely shape, and I only paid $1.99 for her. So each year it is tradition to um, give the dancers in our family a nutcracker. I've been seeing these for around $20, $25. So to find one for $1.99 was really exciting. Um, so my daughter will be getting this and it will be going into our keep pile. So she is a cutie and a great way to kick off Nutcracker season. So the next thing I found, I was so excited to find this. I love vintage Christmas boxes and Christmas illustrations, wrapping paper, cards, things like that. This is a little set of bells. It was made in Japan. It's numbered and it comes in this cute little box. I paid... $2.99 for this and after a quick little peek on eBay I did see that similar sets were going for around $30 so these will be going into my cell pile hopefully I can kind of bend them without them all falling off because a few of them are already sliding out of place but these are just really cute little hand-painted Merry Christmas ornaments and really for me most of the appeal is just the box if this doesn't sell I'll have no problem adding it to my vintage Christmas display so for just a couple bucks, I went ahead and grabbed this. I think it's gonna have a great resale value and we'll see how it does on eBay. So the next thing I found, it is a DIY project that somebody made using vintage Christmas items. I paid $1.99 for it and I am absolutely in love with it. It's a little Christmas snow globe and someone made it out of an old canning jar and then what they did was they just took a little Christmas house. This is like a little cardboard Christmas house. And they put it in there with some fake snow. And then it looks like they cut the piece of a Christmas card. You can kind of see those little carolers on the back. And went ahead and put it all in this jar. And then they added a little jingle bells to the top. And as you can see, it just makes for a really cute snow globe. I thought that this was such a cute DIY project and a fun way to use some old Christmas cards that I had. So I'm going to be looking forward to making some of these for myself. So this is going to go into my keep pile for $1.99. It makes for some cute Christmas decor. And it also really inspired me to try making some similar snow globes. I am going to link in the description below. I have done some waterless snow globes I think you guys might enjoy for the holiday season. So I'll put those below so that you guys can check those out and give those a try. So a couple thrift store haul videos ago, it might have been my last one, we talked about the Buchilla kits. And those were these felt or... Um, not ornament, stocking kits that were big, kind of in the 60s and 70s. All of my siblings and I have um, these Buchilla stockings that were made for us by our aunt. And I'll link the description, or in the description, I'll link the video where I showed those off um, below. But I found one of these Buchilla stockings, and this one is already made, which is a great find. I can't imagine all the work that probably went into these. But in one of my last videos, I did find a Buchilla kit that was not made yet which I actually ended up selling on eBay last week. So I went ahead and when I saw this one for $2, I grabbed it. This will also be going into my sale pile because I think that it should be able to bring a little cash 
and I think someone will really appreciate it. So for $2, a finished Buchilla stocking. I think that should end up selling pretty well. The next thing I found was, this has been a super slow season for vintage Christmas ornaments. It breaks my vintage Christmas ornament heart. But I did find this box during one of my last hauls. I paid 99 cents for it. It is not a complete box. There are only uh, five ornaments in it instead of six. But as you guys can see, they are so pretty. There's an indent ornament in there, the red one. And there's a couple really pretty pink ones. Um, I may just go ahead and keep these, although the indent and any pink Christmas ornaments do have a really good resale value. Uh, for 99 cents, I'll probably just hang on to these for this season and use them in my decorating or in a wreath of some kind and uh, maybe part with them next season. But as you guys can see, they are just gorgeous. And they've been so hard to find this season. I found such few vintage ornaments, so I was really happy to get those. Okay, so I love vintage Christmas linens. This is no secret. So when I found this vintage Christmas hanky, it's a um, Noel pattern on it. And this is kind of in a mid-century modern design. I paid a dollar. It may not look like much, but if you look down in the corner, it has been signed by the artist, Tamis Keefe who actually designed a lot of linens. And uh, if they have that signature on them, they're very valuable. There are hankies, Christmas ones specifically, that are going for upwards of $60 on eBay right now. I don't know if I can get that for this. I'm definitely gonna try. But for 99 cents, it should be able to bring in a little bit of cash, and I think it'll be a great item to flip. And hopefully someone can add to their collection. So let's talk Hallmark ornaments. I have quite a few. This is our family tree that I let the kids decorate. And so I have a bunch of our ornaments that are Hallmark from when I was little, from when my husband was little, and from when my kids were little. Um, so I did find a few Hallmark ornaments on this last haul that I put in this box. I bought these for resale because looking them up quickly, I did find that some of them had a really good resale value, especially ones that are baby's first Christmas, like this one. Um, I paid anywhere from $1.99 to $3 for most of these, and I have put these in my sell pile, and some of them are actually already bringing in bids on eBay. Um, I also found a little porcelain clip on bird. I collect the vintage birds, but there are still quite a few people collecting the Hallmark ones. And like I said, it was just a really quick little uh, search on eBay. I found that these were actually doing really well. So I did go ahead and snag those. And in that collection, I've already taken it out of the box, but I did find this really cute vintage Airstream camper. Um, this is a newer ornament, but I did find it to be really cute. And because I have a vintage camper, I wanted to add this to my collection. So I don't know if you guys can see inside. There's a little Santa in there and a little bottle brush Christmas tree. And it's really super cute. So this was also a couple bucks and this will be going onto our family tree that you see there in the background. Um, and the other ones will be heading to eBay. So you might also see in the background, I have my elf on the shelf. He's been kind of lazy this holiday season. Um, he's moving every couple days. Uh, but the kids still really enjoy them, and I always like picking up the uh, little um, vintage elves when I see them. Um, if you can find any little vintage elves like this, the little felt ones, they're made in Japan, these still have a really good resale value. So I found this little guy for a buck, and so I'm going to add him to my sell pile. I have sold a few other little elves on eBay this season, so I am going to add him to that. If you guys do need some Elf on the Shelf ideas, I'm gonna link some in the description below because I have featured quite a few on the blog. Um, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is, I know it's kind of quirky, but I am absolutely in love with the little velvet reindeer and deer that you are seeing this holiday season. There's vintage ones that are going for amazing amount of, amounts of money um, on eBay. If you can find any of these little velvet guys in pink or green or red, they seem to sell really well. This one's a little more common. He's just a little brown guy, but he is still very sweet. I'm gonna be keeping him, even though I could probably resell him. I picked him up for $5 at a little secondhand shop here in town. He does have some damage. It looks like he maybe took a little, a little hit to the stomach. Um, 
but I'm just gonna add him to kind of my more rustic Christmas decor and he'll be staying here for a while. Okay, so let's recap. We found some great stuff, some linen, some ornaments, some Hallmark, a nutcracker, a pillow. So as you guys can see, all in all, it was a really great thrifting week. I found some fantastic deals. Will this be my last holiday haul for the season? I don't know. I'm thinking probably not. As long as they're putting it out, I will be there to welcome it into my home with open arms. But for now, this is what I have. Make sure you guys check out the description because I'm gonna not only be linking up the Elf on the Shelf ideas and some of my old haul videos, but I'm also gonna share with you guys, in the spirit of the Nutcracker season, my recipe for homemade sugar plum candy. It's super easy, it's super tasty, and they're just really pretty, so they look really pretty on your table. So I'll be including those in the link below. Thank you guys so much for coming back for another video. I appreciate it. Still coming in the next week, I'm going to be doing a um, master bedroom holiday decorating reveal. I'm going to show you guys how I got it all spruced up for the holiday. And I hopefully will be doing, if I can get to it, just a mini holiday home tour. So you guys can kind of see how I've been using all the collections around the holiday season. So until then, I hope you guys are finding amazing things and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I'll hope to see you guys back here soon. Take care. Bye-bye.